Oh, my amazing Leos. Hello, Leos. This is Robin bringing a reading for September, babes. Thank you for your presence. Calling a divine white light, calling in archangels, calling in any benevolent energies to help me to read your love message. This reading is going to be about who's messing with you and who's blessing you. The last reading I just did found out that somebody had passed on and they are now somebody's guardian angel at this time. It is a thing. There's heavy protection for you and you may not even know it. Let's see, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what's the message about? Show me please Leo's message. Thank you, Spirit. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, show me their message. Oh, picnic in the park. Talking to people in the park, doing things outside, finding, meeting somebody at an event. Mm hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Who is this person? What is this from a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? May you be blessed. I'm calling in divine white light. I'm calling in healing. I'm calling in the highest form of vibration for knowledge, insight, and wisdom I can possibly bring to you to tap into your energies, okay? Leo, Sun, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Cross, Watchers. Could play on anybody's perspective, whoever you're dealing with, whatever you're dealing with. And um, I'm not holding back at all. I have almost all the clairs. I know what I'm seeing and hearing. So I'm confident. You have to have the gift to be confident with it. Leo, who or what is this? Someone's taking action. They're coming after you. Oh, my God. Look at you. This person sees your light. It could be an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. But they're following your lead, and they're outside too, right? And this is outside too. This is the sun coming, and this person sees now. They see. Somehow, they're going to chase you because you make them feel well. More, please. They're looking for ways to spend time with you, ways to show love, ways to share what they know, ways to be with you. This is nice. Keep going. It's a man holding a coin, so this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't even have to be a man, babies. It could be a beautiful woman or a woman. I don't know. Everybody's different. You love who you love, okay? It is a thing. Keep going, please. All right. What does this person want? Oh, shit. Well, they're surrounded by hostilities. I don't think they're coming to bring that to you. Let's find out. Nope, they're not. They're facing hostilities to come towards you, though. There's blockages. See, somebody's in the background not happy about this. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And they're not happy about this offer. This person sees you as their twin flame. They see you as the one. And they are dealing with something raunchy in the background. Yeah, that's what I get. Ooh, we That's strong. Let's take a look at these Lenormans and see what we have here. All right. Let's clarify this a little bit. Using the Lenormans. Lenormand. Thank you, Spirit. Leo, someone rising Venus, North Node, Cross Watchers. And of course, you know, the whole objective of this existence at this time is for you to find your North Node and get in it. Whatever it takes, whatever you have to clear up, whatever you have to do to be here to do what you were supposed to do. Sometimes the thing you were supposed to do was nothing more than to be powerful, be yourself, be happy, to bring light to people's life, to walk in it, walk out of it. Um, um, sometimes that's all it really ever was. Really, the truth is. And then the North Code could be, I'm a minister and all I'm going to do is just hug and love on people or encourage them. Wherever I am, I'm going to shine my light and they're going to see it. And obviously someone saw it. Yep, they're following you into the light. Yep, that's what I hear. Keep going, Spirit, Holy Spirit. Show me. There is a fox following, though. There's someone that's not liking us very much. And then in the, in the area, of course, there's hostilities and the fox. It could be someone that's tired. They've had to snoop around somebody to get what they need. And this is the seven of 
coins. It could be someone they've been married to. They're getting a divorce or they're ending something. They're writing a Dear John. That's for sure. Tell me more. Brand new start. Looks like you are, uh, you've turned somebody on and they're coming toward you and they feel like, oh my God, I didn't even know I could feel this way. I didn't know I could feel this way, Leo. They want to build a home with you. That you're their, their home is where the heart is, right? And um, they have to work through some hostilities, though. Someone's trying to take them to the cleaners. Clarify. Yeah. They have to end something before they can come to you and make it real. They're, they're distressed over this interference or this fuck person. You know, this person that compromises them. It's the masculine here. So really, I see a heavy masculine, masculine right here. And this person uh, is jealous. Jealous of your new love, of your new beginning. Hold on. I told you. We're going to look at it all. It's not all roses and candy, is it? Sometimes it's challenges. Sometimes it's truth. So let's see. Show me, Leo. Give me one more, Leo. Someone rising Venus North Node. Show me, Leo. Thank you. I love you guys, by the way. Hey, I haven't said that in ages. Know this. You are very precious. Here we go. Leo, you're showing up as conflicted, though. Page of Five of Wands. Your energy is all over the place right now. Maybe you're sharing it with a lot of people. Maybe you're instructing something outside, a class, a yoga class, something like that. And this person meets you there and when it goes, oh, my God. They're my person, the one I'm with, is not the one I want to be with. So they have to battle this person's ego and get through their bondage to get to you and make this new start. You are sitting here confused, though. What the hell? Who are all these people? Are they fighting over me or fighting for me? Hmm. Leo, let's see. Yeah, you're calling judgment on the situation. You're going to have the last say on this. Um, you're only going to call forth what works for you. More please, spirit. Yeah, you'll cut a bitch. <laughs> you, you'll tell somebody exactly what your boundaries are. That's what the, uh, the Knight of Swords is about. Speaking swiftly, cutting out negative energies, speaking your truth. Single and productive. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So you're single, you live alone maybe, you're working hard, you got projects in the works, you're making abundance, you're working on your butt, your bag, you're working on your relationship with divine, and you have ancestors helping you on this path. More please. Ta-da! You're going to find happiness. Three of Cups is where you rejoice with people, and I don't know why I just hear friends. Tell me, is this a lover or a friend? Could be a friend that's helping you to make logic out of situations. Um, this is a Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And she's got the facts, just the facts. And I'm going to show you how to wield this sword. If you don't know, I'm going to give you the confidence to call into existence what you want. And I'm going to give you the confidence to cut people off and to know that you're in the presence of the Holy Spirit. You're protected by guides and angels. I'm cutting stuff off. You might be dealing with a air sign. Excuse me one second. There's that freaking air. I just got up to go turn on the air and here it popped on. Well, how serendipitous. Okay, my loves. Let's take a look at love part. Uh, wait, before we go on, I need to find out who this is. Clarify in the spirit. Show me. Show me this person who they are. It may or may not be your story. I say if it re really, really relates, it's your story. Part of it may be, part of it may not be. We're all psychic. We're tapping into the collective energy of Leo's. Okay. So this person shows up as being uh, Earth sign. Earth sign. That you mean. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They got to come at you slow because they're dealing with hostilities. Yeah. More please. This person. More on the identity of this person in Leo's life. Scorpio or Pisces, cornucopia, more about that, lovers. So here's what happened. Their lover is trying to keep them in hangman state. 
could be a Scorpio that doesn't like the idea of their earth sign meeting you and falling for you. They're trying to prevent them from getting to you. But you're, they're going to get to you anyways. They're following their heart, their intuition, whoever that is, they're going to get to you anyways because you're their destiny. It's written in the stars, and when it's written in the stars, it can't be changed. See? Eight of Wands. Lots of communication, lots of passion, lots of talking, working things out, movement, travel. Oh, my goodness. Romance, please, for my Leos. Who's messing with you and who's blessing you? Sounds like you might be getting a blessing, but it's a challenge because this person's got things interfering. You deserve love. More, please. Worth waiting for. Of course you are, you gorgeous, sexy Leos. They're going to want you to give that relationship a chance or give their relationship a chance. Somebody's begging somebody. But you've got something going up. You've got events going on. You might be getting engaged because you're spending time getting to know each other, eight of wands. You know, your own private reading will tell you if this is actually going to go somewhere, what their intentions are. Um, I do all kinds of readings. Uh, if you'd like a reconciliation reading, I can do that for you uh, to see what the chances are of getting them back and what the process might be. Um, if you'd like a soulmate reading to find out if this is your soulmate, clarify. Um, let me know that as well. If you want just a, um, let's say you're looking for a job, career, self-situation, outcome, whatever. We can look at a career love reading for you. So the energies say, the moon says, Luck is on your side because what you do is amazing. You meet people in the park and you meditate and you contemplate. You're spending time getting to know somebody. Hard work is paying off, Leos. Whatever you're doing, it's absolutely going to benefit you greatly because you know better. Now, you know better than to get in a relationship with somebody who's with somebody else because of the karma. They have to work their stuff out first. What would this person like to say to you? The life I'm living is not going how I imagined. Of course it isn't, because they met their Leo. You are so easy to talk to. That's what they want to say to you, Leo. So let me know if I can help you with a private reading at all. All right. Thank you so much. You get those on my website or my Etsy shop. You should have access to that. Also, you know, if you join me on here, Leo, hit the join. My Join my group, Robin's Round Readings. What happens is... When I go live on Saturday morning at 10 a.m., anyone that's joined me and leaves a comment, I know that they're there. There's a little um, a join thing, so I can see that you're part of my actual support team. If you're supporting me, I'm going to support you, which means if you can stick around through the collective reading or the pick a card reading on I do on Saturdays or Sunday evenings, and you, you stick around through the process, if you have something you need to know urgently, I'll be happy to do a quick mini reading for you. It's my favor, my give back to you for giving to me a small few dollars a month. All right? You can donate anytime you want, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, uh, anything you want to donate to my channel. I'm really in need of, of a few decks of cards that I don't have the extra cash for, which would be really nice to have because it'll get clear up a lot of these things that we're seeing for you. So if you want to join and you want to have many readings, like that. Okay. It's just like that. So I love you. Thank you for being Patreon members. Thank you for supporting my work and buying my amazing stuff at my amazing store, Sacred Holy Mist Anointing in a Bottle. Attract love naturally. Attract love. Attract affection. Attract positive energy. Attract positive comments. Attract good health. They're all Reiki um, empowered for wellness. And whatever you declare into it, is what you're going to get. You're powerful, creative beings. I'm grateful and I wish you love, healing, wholeness, happiness, fulfillment, and truth. Have a good day. Thank you for commenting.